Hello and welcome back to Subsistence. Well, we're still in September. I have plays, uh, played a day off camera. I'll explain why in just a second. Um, it's uh, the end of the day just about here. So I'm um, going to do a couple of things around the base before we head out for a full day's looting. I have two lockpicks on me. We've got a full pickaxe. Well, our gear is repaired. We've got enough uh, ammo and stuff. So we're just really waiting for the morning now. So just to explain, I came into the game and thought, well, I'll water the plants, fertilize them, check on the chicken, um, maybe have a quick look around and see if there's anything sort of local going on. Waiting for our base raid, because um, last time around, you'll remember, we ran into um, a hunter going fishing from the medium camp and we also ran into a group of rogues and took them out and I was uh, expecting a, a revenge attack nothing all day when I came back in and then the revenge attack came right in the middle of the night and there was no moon could not see a thing they turned up down here even now it's too dark I'll put that light on just to try and um, illustrate where they came they came down here stood alongside the cliff and actually across the water so quite a distance away made it almost impossible to fight back couldn't see to shoot them I think I got one shot on one guy it was um yeah it wasn't good I tried lightening the footage yeah not good quality so I've decided to bin that recording and uh, we're back in now and we're going to do another full day's looting we've not missed out on any, any rural experience um, we know what these revenge attacks are like. But it did get me to thinking what I'm going to do moving forward with regards to lighting down in this area. It's going to be very awkward and I think we're going to have to build quite a few ECU extenders. I grabbed the one out of this chest that we put together for uh, building the elevator. And had a look around. I think I put my flashlight on this gun now. Yep. Had a look around, trying to figure out where I could place it. This was about the nearest I could get it without interrupting our access for the ATV. Um, that was within the existing bubble that we've got. And even that doesn't reach over here. So, um, somehow I'm going to have to come up with... I don't know, um, a platform that isn't in the way of the ATV access because we need to be able to get down and out this way through the garage. Uh, but I need something that's going to bring yeah, the placement of another BCU extender closer to this area so that we can get the bubble cover in here and then place some um, floodlights down so we can see to fight off, you know, revenge attacks. So I've got a bit of a problem and I don't really know what to do about it. So anyway, that was what happened and that is why we are where we are. It's, it's all good. It's all experience. I think the best... Um, the best way to deal with this moving forward is, if we know we're getting a revenge attack, is to go to the hunter camp and take them out before they get a chance to even come over here. Or, like, hang around and wait until we actually see them running towards us and take them out in the field so they don't even get to us. That might be one way of dealing with it, but not ideal. Um, but yeah, I might have to start making a couple more of these BCU extenders and start really littering them around the place. Um, which is fine. We can do that. Just going to take some materials and um, power and mass and stuff. Uh, we've only got one pearl, so we can't make one right now. Because we'll need a couple of pearls for the circuit board. However, while I was in um, just sort of milling around um, killing time, I did manage to make some more stuff for the elevator. So we now have enough for four elevator tracks uh, plus the elevator platform now each of these elevator tracks is going to take 1000 power and 125 mass to craft 
but that's a good stash of material. I'm not, as I've said before in the previous episode, I'm not going to do anything about this elevator just yet until we hear from Cole Games as to what the next update is going to bring because, and I've said it before and I'm going to say it again, if I need a bunch of ingots, circuit boards, scrap and other materials, for whatever comes into the, you know, with the new um, update and I've used it on an elevator <laughs> that we don't even need I will be very upset so yeah we're gonna hang on to the parts here um, it would be nice to make I don't like the double barrel shotgun by the way personal choice not me I love the lever action it might be nice to um, start working on getting a this crafted up. We've got the power capacity. Uh, we just need some mass. We could chop some wood for that. Uh, we just need five ingots. Do we have much in here? And can we make many of these? One, two, three, four. Okay. That's that's good progress. Uh, we've got no copper. Right. I am going to split that up. Um, let's do another eight. I'm going to turn the mining drills over so they pull copper out. Because um, right now we've got them pulling out um, iron. And we're doing okay for iron. Let's switch it up now so they'll pull out some copper. And I think we're going to have to go out and do some mining as well, looks like. Okay, we can work with that. Just a, a last minute thought. I could use the ingots that we've got in, in stock, of course. You know, I do know that. And we might do that. I have to see how I feel. Be nice to go out for a, a good day's looting anyway. Uh, we're going to need some food. I'm going to have some chicken stew. Wow, and that didn't quite fill us up. Isn't that amazing? I'll have a, a berry. And we need to top up the fuel in here as well. It's almost daytime. That's good. And we've got two lock pigs, so if we can find a lock crate and get some really good materials, we'll, we'll get out and do that actually. We've got nothing in there, nothing in there. Let's turn this light off. Top you up. Look at all of this, by the way. We are absolutely overflowing with this stuff. Let's just give the chicken some water. And can I reach you from there? Not quite. Awesome, you'll be fine for food. Right, let's get out and do some looting. So I really want some copper today, if we can. Yeah, and some wood. So I'm going to grab one of those uh, strength packs and, um, yeah. Let's go and see what we can find. So we'll have a look down by the uh, pond first of all. Let me grab a bow. We've got a bit of zinc over here. Yeah, may as well get that. And actually some more. Oh, and some copper. Awesome. That is good news. It was such a shame with that revenge attack. I was hoping they'd come a bit earlier on in the day. We could have actually had a good battle, but when they turn up at that time of night, you just cannot see a thing. And it was just dark, there was no moon as well, so really very difficult. Well, this is, this is a decent start, but I need copper. Uh, there's an ammo bag over there. I don't know what happened to the rogues, by the way. The, um, the hunters from the medium base did turn up as I said but I don't know what happened to the rogues so I don't know if rogues do revenge attacks if 
Maybe they're moving on to a new area. Which is what could have happened. Just going to grab this um, ammo bag. Being aware of that wall for nearby. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to have a quick look around the pond for lock crates as usual. I think we'd be silly not to. Let's set up a tree while we're running past. Oh, some cotton. Now that is the first piece of cotton I've seen this season. Uh, yeah, we're still in rutting season. So first bit of cotton, that's nice. Okay, we've got a bear. Is that a bear? No, that's actually just the rock. My eyes are playing tricks on me today. Let's head across this way. Yeah, there's some ore on the rock here. I think it's potassium, but it looks like this may... No, this is iron. Looks like there is some iron up on the um, rock up there too. But we need copper. Not going to be a copper day, is it? And is there a bag right next to me now? Yeah, there is. Thought so. Lovely. Oh, there's a berry or something up here. Something green caught my eye. Maybe we'll run into some more trouble today anyway. Nothing to see here, bear. Nothing. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, there's some copper down here. I think we're far enough away. Let's grab this. Yeah, I think we'll be good. How much copper we've got so far? A little bit. We need to keep making these um, ingots. Everything's going to be useful at some point, even if we don't use it for maybe what we thought we were going to. By the way, someone posted in the Steam forum the discussions for the game uh, a review of uh, just what dates each of the updates have been over the last few years and it was quite surprising. I've been thinking that we're due for uh, an update soon but looking at those dates, the frequency has been a bit all over the place. Some years we only actually had two updates in a year. Others more. Um, so maybe, maybe the update isn't imminent as I've been hoping. I don't know. Oh, we've got a lot crate. Perfect. This is good. This is real good. Let's see what we've got. Ingots, please. No, but the copper's great. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay, I don't even know what else we had. I just looked at the copper. Let's grab this. Oh, copper and iron down here. This is lovely. What can I hear? Is that my own feet? Oh my god, I scared myself. More copper? Now, if we do stumble into a chicken that's sort of near the base, I might grab a chicken as well. Yeah, and I need to get some wood. Yeah, I do need to get some wood. I must remember that. Let's have a look. It's quiet around here right now. Maybe I'll... Uh, crack this um oh god another splint yeah let's uh let's use this and let's get some wood while we're here and it's quiet 
So that's the strength pack that I've um, used. And we'll just run from tree to tree here. And get a bit of wood. These trees are four logs, I think. Yeah, and these are only small number of hits with this um, strength pack active. Yeah, let's go this way. I think there is a bear or something over here, but let's see. There are quite a few big trees around here we can hit up. Yep, there's the bear. He's far enough away, I think. This pack only lasts about three under three minutes, I think, so... Should be plenty of time. We'll run back to the big five log tree, too. Oops, stuck. Stuck on a tree. There's an ammo bag. Yeah, what a quick way of getting like 50 wood. That that was pretty good, even though I'm getting stuck on all the scenery, on the uh, on the trees and the rocks and stuff. My fault. See if we can get one or two more. I'm going to grab this bag. I don't know if this does anything quicker. Is that quicker? Didn't feel like it was quicker. Uh, another tree. Let's go. I think we've done all of these this way, haven't we? Damn it. Let's see if we can get to another tree before it runs out. Here we go. Here's another one. Maybe this one here. Yep, we didn't hit this up. Lovely. Let's get the five log tree here. Oh, and there's some zinc on that rock there. Oh, damn it. It's just run out. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh, it's so much slower. Did I call them a heat pack? A strength pack, that's what I um, used. Okay, let's have a look from the rocks up here. Is there anything going on? Oh, there is a wolf near. Let me see. Are you going to come up these cliffs? Because I would love to grab that iron. If you're going to allow me to. Oh no, 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 no. I did not like that. Damn you. He's infected me. That was my own fault. I should have crouched, but I wasn't quite sure where he was. And what threw me was the noise of the, the, the rustle of the bushes. I, I thought there was something else behind me, so... Oh well. We'll be fine. We've got plenty of antidotes. Right, reload. Let's go and get ourselves sorted out because this is going to be a bit of a pain with stamina. So most importantly, wash my hands and we'll run round and back up to the base. Yep, everything's reloaded. I mean, look at that stamina. I hate seeing that like that. Never have it that low. Oh my god, especially when there are animals nearby. Ooh, 
This was the bit of zinc we wanted before. I'm going to get it. There's absolutely no point in doing anything about our food and stuff because it's just not going to recover because of this infection. So let's get back. Get ourselves cured and um, then we can get back out. Look at all this loot. Just for a, qu a, a quick run like that. Amazing. Okay, so um, that. Uh, cure. Wood. Planks. Stuff, things. Um, Trying to see where everything goes. Yeah, we've got a bunch of um ore. I know there'll be something I've forgotten to put away. Uh you and you. We need a couple of shotgun shells. Let's put all those seeds away. And we've got a little bit of food for the chicken. I can get into reach. Uh we've got those. And we'll grab that and that. Put that away. Let's put the copper in here. So we needed one more ingot, didn't we? Let's do one more ingot. Lovely. Okay, so we've got 13 copper from that little run. That's amazing. Let's leave that going because the generator's running. So that should make sure our power is good enough. Let's put the food away. Um, we do need something quick to eat. We'll have another chicken stew. Um, fuel wise, we, we could really do with topping those off. It's half, it's halfway. Let's hope that we get back in time, a uh, reasonable time. Right, let's have a look. What is it for this uh, lever action? Gonna need six boards and twenty uh, weapon parts and two hundred and ten mass. Yikes! Okay, two hundred and ten mass. How much fat do we have in here? Eleven. Let's run the second one of those and we turn that off. And let me run this. Let's just see. I, I need to stay close now. Need a bit of water. Uh, we'll drop that in there. Good. Okay. Wait, let's stay close. Um, but let's go and see if we can pick up anything else along the way. Let's go this way. So I need 210 mass and I, I need to at least have a decent amount of power left. And we'll get this um, lever action rifle crafted and then I really want to upgrade it. And that's going to be my go-to weapon moving forward because the um, rifle's fine. But I just love the lever action. And you can use incendiary rounds on it. Which is fun. Oh, I didn't see you. Oh, that's that's mean. That was copper and I missed out on it. But there is some down here on this rock. Ah, and there's, well, there's actually quite a bit here. I think that was potassium. Once we've done the lever action rifle, I think I might start working on some BCU extenders and um, start getting those dotted around the place and just try and work out convenient locations for them, really. I don't want them, you know, I don't want to have to place platforms and walls and stuff everywhere. So if we can kind of make them make sense. The, the placement. I think that'll be um, that'll be a good thing to think about. Q 
you guys have got any ideas about that, by the way, let me know. There are some rogues up there fighting. Or maybe our um, a small hunter camp. That, it could be those. They could be fighting. Let me grab this scrap. It's all good recycling if we don't use it for anything else. Was that a bag? Yes, that was a bag. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there's another bag over there. I just wanted to look around here for... potentially what was going on up there. Rogues. Yeah, we've got a rogue camp. It looks like maybe somebody's dead. Or maybe not. Ah! We've got a hunter going fishing. Yeah, we've got a hunter walking away from his base. Do we want to fiddle with him? Or should we leave him alone? That bear's following him. Maybe we'll get a revenge attack at a reasonable time that we can enjoy. Where did he go? Now what makes me unhappy about this situation is this guy is walking towards the lake and the, the wolf's moved out of the way and the other wolf is moving out of the way as well and that doesn't seem entirely fair to me. That guy should have just as much trouble as we have and going fishing in peace and he's seen me wait where are you okay right let's see what happens when we have the next uh, revenge attack and maybe we'll get one during the day And uh, I have some fun with it, maybe. Yeah, but these um, these wolves should not move away from around the lakeside just because that hunter wants to come fishing. He should have to clear those um, wolves out just like we would. Um, anyway, I need to get back. That looks like a normal crate there. Need to get back and check on the mast um, fabricator. Let's see how much we've got in the uh, stock now. Yeah, let's see if we're lucky with the uh, the revenge attack this time. I want this bag before I go in, Wolfie. Don't you come towards me? Thank you. Right, let's go and see just how much mass we've got and how much power we've got left. That's the biggest question. Let's see if we're in trouble or about to lose the fridge, maybe. 167, that's not bad. We need what for the lever action? 210. Okay, um, no. We need 20 of these. Whoops, one too many. We'll drop those away. Listen to that sound, amazing. 210. This is gonna be doable, yeah, this is achievable, okay. Uh, five ingots and six planks. Let's get the six planks. And we've got four there. I'm going to make another two for possibly if I need um, to make a lockpick at any point. Let's make a bit of biofuel with those excess ones. We've got enough to make a couple of fuel bricks here. 
I know I've got a load in stock, but I'm trying to use up space um, out of the out of the chests. We're just gathering more and more stuff all the time. Never really getting rid of anything. Yeah, 210 we need, don't we? Yeah. I'll leave it. I'll leave it running. Actually, I think it's going to be fine. Okay, let me put two of those in there. Go and check on our fire. Yeah, we're good for the fire as well. Pretty good. Ammo's not looking bad. Right, 210. We could maybe help this along with some recycling stuff. Uh, what could we recycle? Cloths are pain. Got too much of that stuff. Um, what else? We've got so much gunpowder. We also have a lot of this that I'm not using. So let's do a bit of cloth. Let's do a bit of that. And we need 210. And it's at that point now. Perfect. Right, turn that off. Lever action. And the eagle's just flying over. Right, we've got plenty of power, plenty of mass. Let's get that lever action crafted. Oh, it's leaving us so low now. I'm going to have to top up both of the, um, the generators to make some of this power back up, I think. Yeah, well, we've got plenty of it, so I don't mind running these for a short while. We'll run both of them. There we go, there we go. And that's on, that's on. And there's our lever action. Perfect. What is it to upgrade this? Two ingots, three um, rope. Five weapon parts and um, some of that. Yeah, I think we'll upgrade that in the next episode as well. I think we'll go for firepower first. Because everything else is upgraded first um, level. And then maybe we'll go um, reload speed as well. I'll leave it, I'll leave it in my inventory for now. Um, and I'll keep using the rifle just because that's upgraded and uh, we'll upgrade that next. Yeah, we're going to need uh, an ingot. Is it just one ingot? I'm so sorry, I've forgotten already. Two ingots, okay. Okay, we'll work on, uh, we'll work on the ingots a little later. We've got time. Let's all turn that on. Let's have a look how much um, copper we pulled out of the mining drills today. Right, we've got five there. Another five there. I'm going to turn them off for a bit, just let the power build back up. Um, we'll give the chicken some water we're going to drink as well. I'll grab the poop. They'll be fine for food, I think. And I think now we're, we're just waiting to see how long it is before we get a, a revenge attack now. Right, let's top up the fuel. Drop that off. Top up the fuel in here. Let's cook up some food. We'll do a steak and eggs. And we'll also do, hmm, I am going to take this downstairs and make another antidote because we've just used that up here in ourselves. So let's get that replaced. That's good. And what do we want to cook up next? Maybe some more steak and eggs. Yeah, let's do another one. That's good. Yeah, and we've got a chicken stew anyway. And 
So yeah, we've done the uh, we've done the fuel. I think that's a pretty good day. Back up to seven um, antidotes. Not bad. Anything else going on around here? We could maybe chop up some wood while we're waiting. Just for the end of the day. So yeah, I think that's the plan. We'll upgrade the lever action to the first level so it matches all the rest of the weapons. I'd love to get that upgraded to maybe level two, but we'll see how it goes. Um, then I'm going to start working on maybe some ECU extenders and start getting those dotted around the place and try to work out what we're going to do lighting wise um, because there's no way we can keep dealing with these attacks in the middle of the night and not being able to defend at all. Uh, the only thing we might, could, well, we, the other thing we could do, apart from going to meet them in the middle of the day, is actually run out there at night and um, run around with them in the dark. But the problem with that is they can see in the dark and we can't very easily. So um, having the flashlight on the weapon, something like a shotgun, we could kind of run out there and and take it to them if you like but it's not ideal I think a few more of these BCU extenders we can try and get them placed so it doesn't disrupt the access for the ATV I'm even wondering if um, maybe putting some floodlights up on the platforms up here might help. I, I don't know. I think the wall's going to be in the way for a lot of it. But sometimes with the way that the lighting kind of clips through the structures, maybe it might help. Anyway, we'll finish off the day just getting this bit of wood and uh, I think that's where we're, we're going to call it. What a lovely wild storm to end the day. Lovely. Right, we've got a level 5 chicken. We need to get some chickens in the next one. Oh, well you can have that grub. A little bit of food for you. Let's get inside out of the rain. Oh my gosh. Close that window. Right, we've got some woods. Let's put the poop away. Wow. Yeah, the power is going up because we've got so much um so much running on the generator, but it's gonna take a while to catch back up again. The storm tonight should help, so that's good. Let's grab our food out of the cooker and put that in the fridge. And we're going to have another chicken stew. Yep, and I think that's where we're going to leave this episode. So, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.